हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू द न्यू वीडियो सो इट्स अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द बाई वीकली कॉन्टेस्ट वन वन थ्री एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग ऑल फोर प्रॉब्लम सो इफ यू हैव एनी ऑफ दी प्रॉब्लम्स विच यू वांट टू डिस्कस और सी जस्ट वन अदर प्रॉब्लम नेम बाय आर मेंटल और जस्ट प्रॉब्लम नेम आर मेंटल यू विल सी द प्रॉब्लम इटसेल्फ कूल आई थिंक इट्स द हार्डेस्ट प्रॉब्लम ऑफ ऑल दी फोर प्रॉब्लम्स इन द एंटायर कॉन्टेस्ट अगेन नॉट इंट्यूटिव एट ऑल बट इट इज अ इट हैज बीन अकर्ड इन कोर्ट फोर्सेस Previously also I have seen the exact same problem. Previously, but still I'll consider this as the hardest problem of all the four problems which was in the, in today's contest. Again, uh, you might see that in for many people they did many wrong submissions, and that's the reason I am just picking up this problem as the hard one. Like not the hard exactly, but not that intuitive in the first go. Cool. Uh, minimum array length after pair removals. So I just say that okay, I have an array sorted array again. That's the prime part of this question. It's a sorted array of integer nums. Again, many, many, many people just forget this, forgot this fact that it's a sorted array. Again, that would not be much concerned of. But still, it's a fact which we should not forget. It might be deceiving, but still, we should not forget a fact. It's a sorted array. Cool. Uh, of integer nums and. Half operations as in two indices i and j where i is less than j such that nums of i is less than nums of j and okay if it is the case then I can just remove the elements as in indices i and j from nums now the remaining uh, elements it in the original order and stuff uh, return an integer denoting the minimum number of minimum length of nums now it just asks us to return the minimum length of nums so ultimately my task is to remove as many elements as possible the first again i am just speaking out loud for the next 2 3 minutes the solution which i would give will be all wrong but it is a first intuitive thought which will come in our mind and that is how an interview goes that you should speak out everything and that and then you will just make that solution as okay now it we just thought of this but it will not work so first thing which comes which will come in our mind is i'll go in from the right i know that okay it is increasing again it is sorted so one fact which come can come in the mind is okay i can just land at this element i know okay if it is a more element i'll just decrease the previous element and now for this i'm landing at this so i'll just remove this because of this so both will be gone i'm landing at this so no one to remove at i'm landing at this so i had four i'll remove both of them so maybe the first thought is i will land on to an index i will see if i have any previous index or basically i will just land on to an index or an a value i will see okay i have any remaining value and for sure remaining value as i'm moving from left to right remaining value would be for sure smaller so i can just greedily say okay i'll just remove this value because of me that's one of the thing which we can do Uh, as we can see, also I just land here. So, firstly I'm here. So no one previously. Cool. Um, I land onto here. Okay. I have a two previously. So because of three, I will remove a two. I land at six. I have no one. I land at nine. I have again uh, no one. So so I have six. So I'll just remove nine, uh, nine, uh, six because of nine. For this, I just land at here. Okay. No one. I land at one. The previous value which I had was equal to me. So I'll not remove it. Uh, at two, I am at. So. I can take it try. Okay, I'll just remove a two and one because of my two. And then if I am at three, let's say so because of three, I can remove a one. So that is how I can go on doing. But the first, as soon as that's the first thing which will th you will think okay, it's correct, but it's not. How simply a simple example? If I have something like this, then a simple fact. Okay, if you are at two, no one previously cool. If you are at three, because of three, you will try to kill two. Cool. No worries, you killed it. But the, here are all four which are same. Now you cannot kill any of them. But if you had been more optimal, then you would have killed one four with one three and one four with one two. So the answer would have been one. So that's a major thing. Okay, you cannot go from left to right. Again, the same fact will turn off from right to left. Again, I can just make an example as um, two 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 four five. So if we just try the same stuff from right to left, so you can just kill uh, four and uh, five and four, then again three will be remaining. Else, if I would have optimally 
killed everyone like when i say killed i mean just removed so i would have killed these two and these two that's the most optimal one so again um then you like you might think okay i cannot kill so what i can do is maybe uh, as aryan showed that uh, some major frequency element will remain so what i will do is i will just try and pick the major frequency element which means i'll just try and pick this frequency i'll just rather going on on the elements basis i'll now go on the frequency basis okay because i i, I recognize that okay more frequency element might remain so i need to prioritize my more frequency element and use those elements to kill other elements that's what i got to know from using and from getting uh, the wrong answers on these ones right that okay i need to prioritize and use the more frequency element to actually go and kill the less frequency elements so what i might think of doing is okay um i will choose grabbly choose okay this is a more frequency element and because of this more frequency element i just okay its frequency is three its frequency is one its frequency is one so i might just grab two of the maximum frequency elements and then i might just say okay i just grab these two in uh, fre fre these two maximum frequency elements and then because of this i might just kill one of them entirely and then again i'm saying one of them entirely if the frequency of this would have been two so i would have killed all two it is what i am saying right now because i just wanted to kill all of them and as, as much as possible so i don't consider the fact i did not consider the fact that i'm killing that entirely i'm i'm just saying okay i'll just grab the two again how i reach to a frequency part because i got to know okay maximum frequency element maximum frequency element might remain in the end and and again for sure when i say i have grabbed an element and i have another element for sure i can kill the common number of elements between them if i have grabbed three elements and two elements for sure i can kill two elements that is for sure because one of them will be more like one of them will be less and and it is always in the sorted order so the less one will always be previous it will be always be previous that is again a fact which we can use it will always be previous then for sure you can just go and say i'll just grab the top to most frequency elements and i'll just kill the common elements entirely and i will just go home like this but again that is not true which you can figure out by simply an example like two 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 one two three four five threes and four 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 by this fact i might grab the frequency of three as five frequency of two as three frequency of four as four now with this fact i might just grab the two frequency element which are five and four i might kill all four of them with all fives and i might get i might have only one remaining for three which i will use to kill one of the twos so remaining ultimate answer should have been two but you will see that the optimal answer is zero which means with these four four threes you will kill sorry with these three of these threes you will kill three of these fours with one four you will kill one two with three twos you will get again two twos optimal answer now why this happened that uh, killing entirely was not a good was not a good criteria because as soon as you killed entirely what happened was that drastically its frequency reduced to zero but if you had if if let's say i just gradually gra because ultimately remember i'm concerned about the maximum frequency element so if i would have gone gradually so what could have happened okay frequency reduced by one one it became four it became three frequency like reduced by one and again i'm just concerned about the maximum frequency element again reduced by one one it reduced to three it reduced to two again uh, again now i will choose top two maximum frequency element again it is now not these two it is these two and because of this stage transfer as in i was just drastically re like reducing zero but you like you saw that i was concerned at every step about the maximum frequency element because that will in turn help me to just use and cut down everything so i will just use this now i will use three and three the maximum frequency so i'll just use one of them to kill okay its frequency is two its frequency is two now all of them are two so you can just use any of them let's say i choose this one this one okay cool it is gone one one remaining again i'll choose top to maximum frequency element now it has come in picture now i can choose this also so one one gone with one it became zero it became one top to one this and this 
it will cancel with this. So for sure, one thing we got to know that, okay, I can just take the frequencies out of all the elements again. At any point of time, I can cancel two elements. Why two elements? Because any point of time, I just grab two elements. One will be for sure small, one will be for sure large. And for sure, I can kill from large to small because small has always been before a large one. So that's a simple priority queue concept that uh, firstly, I just grab the frequency of all the elements in a map. Then I just made a priority queue. Now it is how I usually make a priority queue if I want a uh, min heap or even if if as soon as uh, something like pair comes in picture in my priority queue i just use this syntax i'll just show you that how you will remember this syntax please remember it for priority queue again it is a very important thing for an interview you will forget this part of syntax please remember it how i will show you priority queue simple whatsoever you want as a priority queue let's say it it can be pair of intent it can be so i want a priority queue of pair so i just mention a pair i want a of integer i'll mention integer i want a vector i'll mention a vector if it, it it had been a vector i'll just replace this pair of intent with a vector now vector will come here will come what i wanted pair of intent vector will for sure come the thing which i'm not marking is nothing it will for sure come now a clear type is something for to compare i'll compare on the basis of this compare which i will make and i'll just initialize my priority queue on the basis of this compare so please make sure that you use declare type with the compare and compare which you will make as a function right okay you made a compare function again the argument again will be a pair of intent and a pair of intent right now you have a pair of intent pair of intent so again, remember whatsoever, if you would have write a custom sort function. So if you want to sort it on the basis of, let's say, imagine this as a vector or something like that, and you want to sort it, right? Again, by default, it's a max heap. Let's say you want to grab the maximum frequency element at the top, maximum frequency element. So if you would have write a sort function, so you would have written, okay, let's say if I have a pair, of two elements where the element is element and frequency right so i would have and again i have two things for comparison element one frequency one and element two frequency two so if i would have uh, like written a simple sort function and i want the maximum so i would have written that the frequency one should have been more than frequency two it it would have been a simple sort function but it will be opposite of the sort function you will write frequency one is less than frequency two again i am just making you memorize that how to write a priority queue function and skip this part if you know that but it is just to show you that how you can write this function again uh the same procedure as you will just go uh, until you can find two elements of the priority queue just grab the top two elements just remove them one by one one by one and if you have the value still remain just just push that back in the priority queue so that you can just keep repeating the process ultimately uh, I, it can happen that okay priority queue is either empty or have just one element in any of the cases uh, if it, 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 it had just one element just grab the value whatsoever it has and that will be the answer else it will be the zero cool so by this you can simply solve it in o of n log n time again there is also a solution which is actually o of like not using the priority queue itself by just saying the fact that as we showed above i just said two to do three 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 and four 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 for sure as i showed you that all elements will be sorted now if i just ask you if i just say two to do and three 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 right if I just ask you if I have any element whatsoever, any element whatsoever has it, again, I'm concerned only again, I'm just showing you the code or the concept by not using a priority queue. It's a method two. Although if you have just solved it, that's good. That's a method one. Method two is just showing you that how it can be done in like alternate way. You can just grab the maximum frequency element. Okay, you have grabbed the maximum frequency element. That maximum frequency element, you know that for sure it's less than n by 2 rn. Now, why n by 2? Because of the fact that you know if the frequency of this maximum frequency element is less than n by 2, then others can for sure cancel him. Right? Others can for sure cancel him. Again, I'm concerned with the maximum frequency element. Now, 
if I just consider this as the entire array, this is the midpoint. Now considering, I'm just considering on the basis of frequency. Now the maximum frequency element is less than n by 2. So the remaining elements will can also be in pair, but it will again be less than n by 2 because it is an maximum frequency element. So it is for sure maximum. Again, it will be small, 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 small. For this, to actually degrade this maximum frequency element, I can use these. I can use these. And whatsoever remaining, whatsoever remaining in this, let's say remaining in this, remaining in this, remaining this, can just easily used, be used to cancel out each other. So one thing you for sure got to know that, okay, because see, it's a bunch, it's a bunch, let's say of A's, B's and C's, and it's a D's. So I can just use a couple of A's, B's and B and C combinations to kill a D. And for sure, A, B and C can, can in the end kill each other. Just one fact that, okay, if the elements, you can just kill elements in pairs. So ultimately, if the elements are even, so all of them will be dead else if the element are odd just one just one will be remaining so we just recognized the maximum frequency elements frequency if it is less than equal to n by 2 then for sure answer can be 0 or a 1 0 if the actual elements n is even and 1 if the n is odd now R in what if the maximum frequency element is more than n by 2 which means if it is more than n by 2 you know one thing for sure that if I have a, again a bunch of fre frequency element now I can just uh, kill these let's say if its frequency is x right now these remaining frequency will be n minus x because we have n, n elements so for sure I can just kill n minus x elements out of this x elements so remaining elements will for sure be x minus n minus x which is actually 2x minus n so 2x minus n elements will be remaining which cannot be killed and that will be the answer if else 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 case because if the maximum frequency element is more than n by 2 else the answer is 2x minus n where x is the maximum frequency element and that is more than n by 2 that it will always become positive and that will be the answer here. Again, how you saw, it can be easily understood by these examples which I took. I, that's the reason I took all these examples. Again, method 1 is more intuitive, method 2 is more optimal. That's for, that's it, that's it for all. Again, in the next videos, problem 3 and 4 will be coming in. Again, I told you, it. I think according to me, it was the hardest problem of this entire contest of bi-weekly 111, 113, sorry. So, yeah. Cool. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.